Okay, hello everyone. So today I have a Game Maker tutorial for you on a dynamic camera. Sorry it's not in 1080p, but you'll have to deal with it. So, uh, many people have a question on this. So, we're going to go into our player, step event, just basic movement, self-explanatory. You should all know how to do that. Uh, now we go into our camera. This is where things get a little bit tricky. So in our room start or create event, we have uh, these variables. Target view, that's just the view and set to zero. Uh, we use that for later. The rate, how fast you want the camera to move towards your new position. And the distance is how far you want it to move towards your new position. You'll see this in our step event. So now in our step event, we have two variables, x2 and y2. This is where our camera is going to be moving to. We're moving our camera towards the mouse uh, at a speed of zero. And... Uh, we have X2 and Y2 being set to our player's X position and Y position to the length derivative of X and Y of a minimum distance to our mouse uh, in our direction. And that's our variable we set up. You can change that. So now we have X. Uh, we have the X position and Y position of our camera, of the current object. And that's going to be plus equal to x2 minus x divided by 25. You can change the divided by 25. That's kind of also like a distance and speed combined. Uh, you could do 10, 25, you know, whatever you want. And just mess around with that and see what you like best. So now we need to get the new position of our camera. We are setting the uh, view position x to the camera view uh, of x and y. And we are also getting the view position and width of our camera and we are dividing that by or multiplying that by 0 0.5 so we're getting half the view so it can actually move and not just stay static uh, it kinda helps make dynamic so now we need to set the new position so we have two variables new x and new y and we're basically setting that to the view position x and view position y to the camera our current position minus the height and width of our view and we are a speed of or amount of rate and we have that in our create event you can change that as well and these variables match up with the ones in there now we need to update the new position so we just set the camera position uh, target view to our new x and new y that's pretty self-explanatory so now in your room you need to configure a few things uh, it's just basic view room and then in the view port and cameras we need to go down to viewport zero Make sure you have enable viewports and clear viewport background. Set the view width and view height and port to whatever you would like. Have it following no object. Have the borders correct. And that should be it. Now if you run it, it should look something like this. Okay, so we can like look up and down. It's dynamic. Kind of moves all around. You can move the player. It's pretty pretty simple and hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, I know a lot of people had a question on it uh, it's different from game maker 1.4 so yeah thank you guys so much for watching be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time